children, how are you all? Enjoying the holidays and growing healthy and fit, aren't you? Now, I am going to teach you maths. Let us begin with the integers. And I went to church. You see children, before the pandemic, the church would be full. It would be filled with people. Now, because of social distance, only two could sit on a large bench. So I thought of counting them. You know how I started counting? No, not from zero, but from one, two, three, four, five, till seventy-five. You see, children, natural numbers should begin from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. They continue endlessly. To show that they are endless, we must put three dots. Since these numbers begin from 1, mathematicians call it as natural number. And natural numbers are denoted by n. Now, take n number, say 13. If you add 1, you get 14. So, 14 is a successor of 13. From 13, if you reduce to 1, we get 12. 12 is the predecessor of 13. In the same way, take 7. 7 plus 1, we get 8. That is the successor of 7. And from 7 minus 1, we get 6. 6 is the predecessor of 7. Now take 1. Does it have a successor? Yes, it is 2. But does it have a predecessor? No, not in natural numbers. We have in whole numbers. Predecessor of 0 is 0 is minus 1. But predecessor of 1 is 0. So we write 0 here. 0 becomes the predecessor of 1. So whole numbers should be written from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on. Show the dots to show that they are infinite. We do not call numbers by the notation W. Let us see here. If you put whole numbers and negative numbers together, we get a new set of numbers. And they are called as integers. In integers, we have 0, to the right of 0, positive numbers and to the left of 0, negative numbers. These integers are denoted by the notation Z. Now children, let us learn how to plot the points on a number line. First, draw the number line, then mark the points at equal distance. Mark 0 and to the right of 0, mark the positive numbers. To the left of 0, mark the negative numbers. Now let us see. Shall we mark minus 4? And where is minus 4? To the right of 0? No. It is to the left of 0. From 0, come to the left. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Here it is. So this is Minus 4. How to mark plus 5? Plus 5 is to the right of 0. So start counting from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and mark. Here we go. This is 5. How do we mark minus 7? From 0 come to the left. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Minus 5, minus 6. Here, minus 7. How do we mark plus 3? Plus 3 is to the right of 0. So, 1, 2, 3. Here, plus 3. So, here we learn how to mark on the number line. Let us do this now. Which integer lies between minus 8 and minus 2? And which is the largest and smallest integer? 
Now let us write all the integers between minus 8 and minus 2. Here, from 0 come to the left, minus 1, minus 2, which is here. Minus 2 and minus 8 is here. Which numbers are between these two? That is minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. So, the numbers between minus 8 and minus 2 are minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3. Here, we have written it in ascending order. Now, let us see. The largest integer is minus 3. And the smallest integer is minus 7. Now, children, let us learn to add the integers. First sum, plus 3, plus 4 should be added. Now, these are positive numbers. So, add 3 plus 4, we get 7. And what sign to put? Since both are positive signs, we must put positive number. So, the answer is positive 7, plus 7. Now, second one. Minus 3, minus 4. Minus 3, these both are negative numbers. But they belong to the same sign. We must add them. 3 and 4, we get 7. And since both are negative, we must put the negative sign. And that is minus 7. Now let us verify these two on the number line. Plus 3, plus 4. From 0, we go to the right. From 0, 3 points. And then again 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. We will read 7. So this is right. Minus 7. Minus numbers are to the left of 0. So from 0, go to the left. That is minus 3. And again 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. Minus 4. Minus 3 plus minus 4 is minus 7. Since both are negative, we must put negative 7. Now third sum, plus 3, minus 4. These belong to the different signs. Since they belong to the different signs, we must subtract them. So, subtract smaller number from the bigger number. 4 minus 3, we get 1. And which symbol to put? See, the sign of 4 is minus, sign of 3 is plus. We must put the sign of the bigger number and that is minus, minus 1. Here again, minus 3 plus 4. This is 4 sum. Minus 3 plus 4. Again, these both are of different signs. So find the difference. 4 minus 3 is 1. Now what symbol to put? It is not minus 1. See the sign of the bigger number? Bigger number sign is plus. So we must put here plus sign. So this is plus 1. Now let us verify this on the number line. First 3. First 3. From 0, go to the right. Plus 3 it is positive 3. Then minus 4. Minus 4, we must always come to the left. Come back to the left. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So here we get minus 1 is the answer. Take fourth one. Minus 3 plus 4. From 0 let us go to minus 3. Negative number should always come to the left. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. From here let us proceed to plus 4. Plus 4 you must go to the right. Plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Here we reach and that is plus 1. Now children, let us learn the rules of addition. Now when you add a positive number to positive number, answer is always positive. Look at the example here. Plus 3 plus 4 is plus 7. And we have to write plus 7. Take next. When you add a negative number and another negative number. So, but when you add their negative numbers, we must put negative sign. Here is minus 3, minus 4. Answer is minus 7. But here, when the signs are different, we have to subtract them. And what sign to put? 
we must put the sign in the bigger number. When the signs are different, find the difference and write the sign of the bigger number. See here, third sign. Both are of different signs. So we subtracted them and the answer was 1. And which sign we have put? The sign of the bigger number negative. So negative 1. Here both were of different signs we subtracted and the bigger number was positive. So the answer is positive. Now children, let us learn subtraction of integers. First sum, plus 8 minus plus 4. These two numbers are of the same sign, but you cannot add it. We must change the sign of number to be subtracted. Plus 4 should be changed into minus 4. That is, we must write the additive inverse of plus 4. It becomes now, this is plus 8. Plus 4 now becomes minus 4. That is the additive inverse of plus 4 is minus 4. Now, 1 is positive, 1 is negative. Now find the difference. 8 minus 4 is 4. And we must write the sign of the bigger number. And that is plus. Plus need not be written. Now, take second one. Minus 9 minus minus 3. We will write the number minus 9. This is to be subtracted. So the number to be subtracted changes the sign. Of plus 3 is the additive inverse of minus 3. So we write here plus 3. 9 minus 3 is, which is 9. And 3 are of the different signs. So 9 minus 3. We get 6. But... What sign to put? See the sign of the bigger number here. It is negative. So put negative here. Minus 6 is the answer. Take next one. Plus 12. And write the additive inverse of minus 8. That is plus 8. 12 plus 8. Both are positive. Add them. We get plus 20. Here, take minus 15 and write the identity inverse of plus 7. That is minus 7. Now, both of them belong to the same symbol. Both are negative numbers. Add them. 15 and 7 equals to 22 and their sign is minus. Mm -hmm. Here is the first sum from exercise number 1.1. It has four questions. Question number A is, observe this number line and write the temperature of places marked on it. So the temperatures of Bangalore 22 degrees Celsius, Woody 14 degrees Celsius, Shimla 5 degrees Celsius, Srinagar minus 2 degrees Celsius, Lahulspiti minus 8 degrees Celsius. Question number B is, what is the temperature difference between the hottest and coldest places among the above? Hottest place is Bangalore. Its temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. Coldest place is Lahul Spiti. Its temperature is minus 8 degrees Celsius. So the difference in the temperature is 22 minus minus 8. So 22 minus 8 becomes plus 8. That is 30 degrees Celsius. Question number C. What is the temperature difference between Lahul Spiti and Srinagar? So the temperature difference between Lahul Spiti and Srinagar is minus 2, minus minus 8. So minus 2, minus 8 becomes plus 8. So the difference is 6, 6 degrees Celsius. Question number D. Can we say temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together is less than the temperature of Shimla? Is it also less than the temperature of Srinagar? So now, sum of the temperature of Srinagar and Shimla is minus 2 and plus 5. When you add them, you are getting 3 degrees Celsius. So 3 degrees Celsius is smaller than 5 degrees Celsius. So it is less than the temperature of Shimla. So that is why we say yes. Second part of the same question is, is it also less than temperature of Srinagar? Temperature of Srinagar is minus 2 degrees Celsius.
Celsius. Whereas this Shimla is 5 degrees Celsius. So minus 2 degrees Celsius is less than 5 degrees Celsius. So the answer is no. This is the fourth sum from exercise 1.1. The sum is a plane is flying at a height of 5000 meters above the sea level. At a particular point, it is exactly above a submarine floating 1200 meters below the sea level. What is the vertical distance between them? See here, the height of the plane is 5000 meters above the sea level. Sea level is considered as 0 degree Celsius. So the height of the plane is plus 5000 meters. The width, the depth of the submarine below the sea level is 1200 meters. Since it is below 0 degree Celsius, we must take it as minus 1200 meters. Now what is the vertical distance between them? Let us see. 5000 minus minus 1200 meters so 5000 meters plus 1200 meters equals to 6200 meters this is the distance between the plane and the submarine. Children, this is from number 8, first sum. A. Verify A minus A to minus B is equal to A plus B for the following values of A and B. That is, value of A is 21, value of B is 18. Here we must see left hand side should be equal to right hand side. Now let us write left hand side we shall write this equation A minus into minus B. Right hand side let us write A plus B. Now in the place of A we must substitute the value of A. Value of A is 21 minus into value of B is 18. It is minus 18. Here, in the place of A again, 21 plus 18. Let us work out this. This is 21 as it is. Minus into minus becomes plus 18. 21 plus 18, we get 39. Let us see whether we get the same answer to the right hand side. 21 plus 18 is 39. So, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Therefore, A minus into minus B is equal to A plus B. Here are your rules for adding integers. If both signs are positive, add them up. If both signs are positive, add them up. If both signs are positive, then the sum is positive. If both signs are positive, add them up. If both signs are negative, add them up. If both signs are negative, add them up. If both signs are negative, then the sum is negative. If both signs are negative, add them up. If the signs are different, you must subtract. If the signs are different, you must subtract. You look at the greater value, the sum will be that sign. If the signs are different, you must subtract.